And welcome back to the next episode of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 with the 1.34 Sweden Patch and Alliance of the North DLC. Let's get going. We're pl planning for a, a future Muscovy invasion here. Three more years. Three and a half more years. I'm very tempted on getting to Liebeck here, but I need more friends to be a part of this. Uh, they're less willing to do that right now, just because I'm being quite imperialistic as Sweden right now. <laughs> for this early age. Uh, well, let's see here, let's see here. Should we mothball more forts? Let's see where we have uprisings going on. Ooh, there's actually uprising warning, warning here in Obo. Let's activate that fort. Otherwise, I think we are fine. The Danish, yeah, no. No overextension, that's great. <clears throat> For a wisdom, what is this now again? 50 administrative power. Always useful. What was the tech? 12, 13, 13. Yeah, we are catching up. Even though we haven't embraced this one. Now we can pay 1,321 for it. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't want to pay that much. And we're not behind, so... Whatever. Uh, the cost for these 15% extra, nothing extra? Yeah, 30% extra, yeah. So yeah, we need to pay it. <sighs> Sooner or later. Uh, we're earning... That can't be right. What? Yeah, we're still earning 14, but why did we earn 34 there a while? For a while. Yeah, we have quite a good, uh, good amount of money, but I want a bigger army. We can have 73,000 men in a standing army. We have 40,000. Manpower is 39 out of 45,000 in the reserve. We can build more. Uh, more Carol traders. We're still dominating here and in Novgorod. Yes, we are. Um, Free policies, innovativeness. If we do this, we will actually gain. Um, we will gain a policy for this. Modern firearm technique. So we can activate that one. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't know that. That that's another fifteen percent infantry combat ability, which Sweden already has. Yeah, very strongly. But if I do this, it costs something, right? Or it's the first one free in a way. And acting modern fire things will raise your policy cost to zero. Yeah, so we have one free here. So we are not paying anything extra for um, for. Uh, to enact this, uh, but uh, if I enact another one, it will probably cost me uh, monarch points for each time. So this one we want. That's so good. I didn't know that. Um, where the fuck do I see where we get our nation's bonuses? Where is it? Here, um, yeah, 
infantry combat ability 20% plus that 15% I guess. Yeah, we, we have 10% at the start of the game. And then you get 10% extra for quality ideas here. And then I get the extra 15%. Why does it not stand uh, say it here? Ah, because it's only the ideas that counts here. But uh, we have 35% bonus on our infantry now. Uh, that's pretty crazy. The first song here. We can we pay this loan now? No, we can't. Oh my god, that's an that's high interest, crazily high. I want to repay that loan before I do anything else. Uh, I also want the institutions, I, I was also promising to construct buildings, but we won't, we won't make it. <laughs> Let's check the buildings here, we have good marketplaces that can help us. Uh, Stockholm, yeah, we already constructed the Dalaskugan one, so we have churches, it's not that super important. It is good, but we, we we can't wait with it, so... Led by King Eric Bagge the 15th. Musket or bow? Yeah... Ah, let's go with the tech cost. We can go further here with the um, national trade policy. Trade efficiency 10%, cost to promote mercantilism minus 25. Uh, we will also get the product placard, that I think. Goods produced modifier plus 10%. Both of these last ones here are great. Um, so, how much are we trading? That's our. No, taxation is still larger. Second income trade, production is down to 14. Uh, so that's what I want to increase with buildings and development. But yes, uh, I want this... Uh, get a merchant after that, so I want this one. Product placarded activated, so that means more goods produced as well, 10%. Yeah, so we increase with two ducats and one ducat, so three ducats in total. We're up to 18 plus a month now. Definitely worth to take that idea. A queen concert of the people, and uh, no. No, I don't want to pay that. I think we can repay the loan now, yes. No loans activated. Loans also increase uh, st um, inflation, just as in real life. And extending loans also continue to increase the inflation. There are money in the system that that is not, not supposed to be there. That's what inflation really is, actually. Uh, the state needs money use... Um, yeah, I want that money. That is what we need. So... Uh, the ships are almost done. Smolene, Smolene. Takes a l longer time to construct the ships. Uh, so, army or buildings then? Or save up to the institution? I don't think I need to save up to the institution. Let it sink in price. It's already sunk by 200 ducats while I last saw it, so... I think it's time to at least construct one building in Stockholm workshop. And then we can 
start construction of our new army. Another 20 uh, regiment army. So let's start producing our free shooter infantry. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10. Uh, 11, 12, 13. There we go. The Evangelical Union. They're already done here, so let's go and gather up here. To help with the knowledge sharing, that was... Goes toward printing press, and uh, no, we don't need that. Our ships are popping up here. And the army there as well, good. Merge. We also need a leader for this this army, do we? Uh, you can also start training. Uh, workshop in Vamland? Yeah. Ja means uh, yes in Swedish. Let's see here. 30 stay. Merch and go protect trade in the Liebeckian zone. We're easily dominating. Liebeck, they are strong here. Just imagine the trade power we will get to just get them out of the picture. But Moscovy first. That's one and a half more years. Yeah, one and a half more years. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> we need, uh, what do we need? Three cavalry, right? Cavalry, cavalry. Reykjavik? Oh, Reykjavik. Uh, yeah, send. Stop training. And no, train with them and stop training with these. I want Heaven's Dead. Get the fleet over there. How is the Protestant spread go? Almost completely Protestant now. Reval. Yeah, so we, before we leave, we need to fight them as well. Friends in need. No, um, Bohemia is in need because we have married into their house. So we need to sacrifice 5,000 manpower, and we will do that for them. Yeah, for some reason they had low manpowers, but but we will do that. And that, they love us for that. <laughs> and it will be worth it in the long run. It's not that super hard to replenish it. We get 513 men each month back. So that will be replenished very fast. And we don't need it against Muscovy. Sphere as well. They are just popping up like fucking crazy here now. Uh, we need to wait. Uh, oh, Lithuania is taking care of it for me. Thank you, sirs. Uh, 
Will they take care of Tvir as well? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's time to leave with this army. I think it's good enough if we leave with half. So, you guys, let's go... Uh, I just clicked that we're going here. And it will work, it will work fine, I think. We need one more cavalry here. And artillery and artillery. Now Lithuania will will not take care of it, of course. Let's get over here. Ah, they're marching into uh, Lithuania, are they? No, they are not. Ah, Lithuania. Uh, I think we defeated them on Iceland. Yep, we take it. Send me back here, please. Fabricate our oh, Mecklenburg. Alright, Lineberg is the only one left, so. Move that guy. Rice are no longer transporting trade power to Sweden. Uh, you soon will. Again. Almost. No, not this one. Two artillery, we need two more. Two more artillery regiments. Fabricate claim 45, okay. Yeah, this is the year we're waiting for November to be able to attack. Armies back home, we lost people at sea as well, I think. But mostly in the fight. We're earning 11.35, but that's because we're reinforcing at the moment. Uh, oh, they are going into uh, Lithuania. Interesting. Yeah, now we're earning a bit more. Lithuania will take care of that, right? No, they don't dare attack. And they, they're not going to Novgorod because I don't have the fort ready there. Ah, um, take care of them here, please. Are they going to Puskov? They are. So to attack Puskov is Latgalia Ingemalandis. It's the best area to go. Intrigues in Stockholm. Um, yeah, fine. Then we can have a skill to uh, guy. I believe. I think so. Yeah, this guy. Gottfried Alkmar. Do 
do that one, because with taxes is our main income, so he will raise it quite a bit with 10%. And we get two administrative power. Extra. Uh, do we need administrative power most of all? I think so. We do, so let's have it as a national focus, and soon we need to core a lot here again. So have it as a focus, even though we're gaining most points in it. Okay, Lithuania. Oh, they took care of it. Raisan will no longer steer trade to Sweden as well. Okay. Uh, we need to activate forts here. I think all the forts in this area needs to be activated. And we will place our troops where they are needed. Will Muscovy have friends? They will have Ryazan. So the complete amount of troops you will have is 16,000 versus 5,000, so 21,000. Right. So let them attack the, the Muscovite separatists. These are Russians. And let's get up here, or here. Yeah, that works. Ah, Tom the Log. We need one back home, and that will be these guys. We need a leader for them. Do we dare use the, the king? No, we have no heir, so that's not gonna happen. We're using a general for this. For the, prepare for the Muscovy War. I want to assault this army as fast as we can. Uh, Rostov is also possible. Move there instead. We have uh, Jakob Gustafsson in place. He's a very good sieger. Still rebels threatening Obu, so keep it there. Lithuania's truce with Moscow ends... Ah, the same fucking time. Uh, what we need to do is to... Let's see here. They will probably attack at the same time, and they are claiming Moskva. So we need to start pounding on the Russians from below. So let's start from there with both armies. So, Jakob Gustafsson have to go into Moscow right away. That is the first thing he needs to do. And we're not calling allies for this war whatsoever. Oh, December. Oh, fuck, we're already here. Um, declare war. Declare war. Yeah, what will it be? Moskva? I think that will do perfectly fine. Oh, shit, Lithuania joins the war against me. They have allied. No, they have not allied. They have... Guaranteed the independence for Muscovy just because they're interested in that land themselves uh, I'm ready to betray Lithuania for this 
and that will be a legitimate way to break the alliance with them without other nations uh, judging me. Uh, so I think this will be perfect. So we call Bohemia and Poland in this war. Absolutely. How, ma how many troops does Lithuania have? 35,000. Oh shit. Yeah. We have all the forts here as well. Yeah. So I will do this. And we, if, Lith if Lithuania <laughs> guarantees this, it's their fucking funeral. Call my allies. And we'll, we will see how brave you are, really. <clears throat> Poland attacks them right away. That's great. They're trying to take Riga here. Let's let let them try. Uh, I want to attack that Russian army as fast as possible. Go to Stockholm as fast as possible if you can. It feels like we are dominating the sea. That's good. Uh, I want to attack that Russian army, come on. I don't think there's a river crossing. Kolmogory, yeah. So no problem. Can go to Kolmogory. Ah, go to this one, take it first. They left Riga siege, nice. So, uh, this is perfect actually. Uh, I wanted Lithuania out of the alliance, first of all the ones that are joining me. Uh, who are they also not friends with? They, they do not like Bohemia. So this will strengthen my Bohemia alliance even further. <laughs> Lithuania, yeah, this is my chance to dig into Lithuania. And, and uh, yeah, start building spy networks in Lithuania. Profiteering in Kalmar. All right, what are we doing in Kalmar? Um, naval supplies, that means we need to have trade protection there, because it's not very important production. Okay, go to Kolmogory. Lithuania has been... Yeah, they got their asses kicked right away by Poland. <laughs> Thank you, Polish. My Polish friends. Siege of Moskva has been done. Attack the Russian army. Is that a river crossing? No, there are no rivers over here. But we will fight in woods, so that's minus one. They can ambush us there. Minus one we can live with. Uh, yeah, we can stay, Mesa. Okay, cash in. Oh, more wants to join. Volgas, nah. I don't see a reason for calling more of them. No, no reason at all. Why is uh, Bohemia and Poland running around here? Oh, they're running down to me, so I can just catch the fleeing army. Over here, that's perfect. Go to Sustal. And attack the army. I don't care about river crossings. Yeah, I don't care about that. Perfect war song. <laughs> or not. Kill the armies. Get up here. Go down here. Kick their ass. The entire Russian army has been annihilated here. Uh, 
inte rinner ljus i pipan nu brinner Benjamin för det inte så stinner ingen nu dör Pass the solution power they have 5% uh, what i need to uh, take a look at it in, in the next episode is this to give them some privileges it's called because why the fuck not Oh, Raya-san, I forgot about you guys. You are actually a part of the war. Yeah, so uh, Jakob Gustafsson, our siege star, he can go down to Raya-san and kick some ass. After he kicks the ass of their army. Yeah, siege uh, this one first. A very fitting song, Poltava. But this time it's the Swedes who are kicking their ass. Siege. <laughs> we will be able to capture land from Lithuania as well. Ah, this is too good to be true. Strike the armies down here before we do anything else. Now we have an air. Four, five, two. That's okay. More than okay. Lose prestige, but gain noble nobility. Ooh, they are very loyal right now. You're supposed to keep your estates in a good balance. You don't want to uh, push them back too far. You, do, you don't want them to get too much power. A balance with them, then they will be very helpful if they are loyal. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Send these guys down. Level of the Rias and Fort. Five? Oh. I need to start upgrading my forts. My forts, they suck, really. Okay, Bohemia take care, takes care of that army for me. Thank you very much. Very nice of me. Bohemia is just happy here because they can kick the Lithuanian ass. And that is what they want. So what I need to do strategically in this game right now is to um, kick the asses of the east in a balanced way. Is that the perfect way to explain it? So sometime I need to kick Kazan's ass, Crimea's ass, uh, Lithuania's ass. I don't want anybody here to become too powerful. I want to spread here perfectly this way. So there's no Commonwealth, there's no big Russia right now. It's just excellent. This episode can go on for a little while longer just because I want to end this war. Lithuania is soon very much defeated here. Oh, we have war score 99 already. 77 with. Uh, yeah, okay. Ryasan, right. But Ryasan, they are a, a vassal. No, they're just allied. They are just that, so we will piece them out, take nothing from Ryasan. I will focus on Lithuania and Muscovy. 
and the aggressive expansion over here should be quite good. Not too, sh not too bad. Nah, nah. This will do. We're still earning money as well. Four ducats a month. Alright. Um, Continue to pound their ass because I want to piece out Ryazan here. We almost captured their fort. Lithuania wants out. Uh, we took it. Take the rest. Conditional surrender, peace of horizon. Everything in Muscovy has been taken. Uh, I wonder if Poland has wishes for land here. They do. But mostly the land I've got. And they have Moskva as well, so... Poland could be pissed after this. I'm not sure about how I will deal with them. But there we go. We can start piecing out shit here now. I'm not claiming anything in... Um, remove the diplomat from Muscovy. And peace out Ryazan first. Just grab their shit. War, trade power transfer and stuff like that. Boom. There we go, and we are going to... Uh, we need to wait a lot of days. Lithuania needs to be pieced out. What do I want from them? These two. Uh, Resev, maybe. That could do for now, I think. Otherwise, money like crazy. War reparations. Yeah, so do that for now. I don't. I don't know how much aggressive expansion I will. Oh shit! Yeah, we could. Now we can pay for the institution. Thank you very much. This game teaches you to never think of wars as they are going to cost you money. <laughs> That, that is where you earn your shit. So let's see. Le uh, wait until this diplomat is on his way back. And uh, here we go. Time to grab some Muscovian land. Oh my god. That's a lot. Lithuania. I don't care. <laughs> I, I still dare doing this. I can do it all. Yeah. So grab the southern part here of Muscovy, and then we can just kick their uh, their ass afterwards. But fuck, Kazan will take it. That's so annoying. Moskva cost too much war score that's that's the way but i don't want moskva to fall into their hands afterwards so this still makes the most sense grab it
bordering Kazan. That means we can start claiming them. But we need to claim more in Moscow. We need to have more claims there. We cannot send until May. Dangerously overextended, but we don't have oh, 91%. Let's boost the stability to 3, because it's good to have that when you're overextended. And core... What? It was that expensive? Oh, shit. Yeah, keep an army over here. Get that army back home, or up here. I think that's still... Yeah, I, that has to be the... What does... Poland, yeah. Below 100. Bohemia loves us. France, stable. Somewhat stable. But Poland is starting to rethink the alliance decision with us right now. Institutions spread in true faith provinces. I think I want that. It's also time to end the episode here. Yeah, so re let's consolidate after this war with Muscovy, Kazan, when can they attack? They can attack whenever they want now. Uh, Lithuania is now our enemy. They're hating our guts. They have allied with Münster. And we're claiming... Yeah, perfect. Let's send the diplomat into... Muscovy as well, and then we can end the episode. Great. Yeah, so just consolidate what we're doing now after this war. And calm everything down. So, I think that was pretty successful. I wanted this blob, but this is the value part here. It's a 25 development with iron. So, yeah. The valuable land was the southern part. And that will hinder Lithuania from taking it. This is development 3, 5, easily taken. But I will see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the journey so far. Take care. Bye.